when I made my debut uh, against Perth at, Hed at Etihad Stadium, it was just like amazing to get on. I was just running around, just you know, trying to get a touch, and it's hard to sort of think too far in the future when you're 15 and um, you're able to play in such a sort of big league. And um, yeah, I, I didn't imagine that it would be this quick, but yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. To be a leader at 19 uh, was pretty daunting at the start, I think. I wasn't sure how I would really go, although last year I had the captaincy for a couple of games here and there, and I really loved being a leader within that team, and it's the same sort of team, so um, to be given the responsibility was just huge, and um, I'm really glad Dave gave it to me, because I feel like I've grown as a person this year, and um, just really enjoyed being able to be a leader with this team. I think the best thing about playing for Melbourne Victory is the friendships I've made over the years. It's been the same sort of core group of girls and um, it's just such a pleasure to play with all of them. They're, they're my best friends I have in my life and um, to be able to do the thing I love most uh, along with them is just perfect. My football career began through my brother. He played at East Bentley Soccer Club and he used to just run around with the boys there. And, I used to sort of follow everything he did. He's, he's been my idol for a long time. Um, I got along with my brother really well and I sort of just copied everything he did from a young age. So um, it was the same with football. We had a lot of uh, friends uh, around the neighbourhood that would play and um, I'd be the only girl and um, it sort of just grew to get really competitive and love it. And then I just hopped in with one of the boys' teams down at East Bentley and played there for six years and yeah, that's where it started. I was sort of... Uh, my biggest role model is sort of a hard question because I, I have heaps of different things that inspire me, different people. Um, I've had a couple of uh, close family friends pass away. My first ever soccer coach uh, at East Bentley, Eric Harbus, um, was a massive influence on my career. He was the one that sort of told me that there was rep teams and for girls and I was really reluctant to leave the boys because I didn't really understand that it, where it could take me. So. Um, and he really pushed me to do that. Um, and John Hurley's another one, he's a family friend. Um, he's just so self, he was just so selfless and um, loved football so much and it just sort of taught me to appreciate everything I had and yeah. The person I most sort of, not copy, but base my captaincy on and leadership is probably someone football fans won't really appreciate, but um, Lenny Hayes from the St Kilda Football Club. Um, I've followed St Kilda for a long time and he's always been my favourite player because he's not like the most fancy player but he's always been an incredible leader and um, just the way he would put his body into any sort of contest and do anything for his club is just something I really look up to and would like to be like. So the best memory would probably be the semi-final last year. That was just the best feeling to finally make the grand final it was a step that we hadn't achieved before so um, you know, I'd been there for four years before that and we'd made finals at, for about three years or something like that so to finally make that step was incredible and then obviously the grand final is probably one of my worst <laughs> memories but yeah funny memory this one goes back a little bit but um, Vicky Linton when we had her as coach she was we were all out at training and um, she was telling us something very, very serious about what we'd done wrong and she was pretty unhappy with us <laughs> and she took a step backwards and just completely slipped on the ball and KO'd herself. <laughs> so sorry, Vicky, but yeah, that tops it off. Um, three, inter three interesting things uh, that people might not know about me is that I absolutely hate milk. I, I just, it's like a phobia if it touches me. It's <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> um, what else? My favourite compliment to receive is that you smell good. If someone tells me that I smell good, it's just made my day completely because I love perfume and smelling good is just like the best thing ever to me. Um, and I'm really, really close with my brother. Like he's probably my best friend in the world and. Um, I look up to him in everything that I do and uh, yeah, most people might not know that. I have heaps of goals. There's, the main one is to play in, in World Cups and Olympics with my national team and obviously to win a W League Championship would just be incredible. It's 
you know, I love this club so much and um, to be able to do that um, with this bunch of girls that sort of come through and really worked hard to get there would just be amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely looking to go overseas. Uh, we've got a big year coming up with the national team, including the Cyprus Cup and Asian Cup and lots of camps. So uh, overseas has to wait a little bit, uh, but I'm definitely looking to sort of branch out a little bit. I want to change up what I've been doing with my football for the past couple of years and um, definitely going overseas it seems like a great option. So I'm d just looking around at the moment and hopefully at the end of this year I'll, I'll be somewhere. Uh, advice I would give to young girls that want to play for Melbourne Victory. I was actually thinking about this the other day. Um, I was training with my friend Charlie West. Um, she lives near me in Frankston and um, just having someone to train with uh, that works hard and will push you and challenge you and um, that you enjoy kicking the ball around with I reckon it's so important because I've done so many years of just training by myself like the extra stuff away from sessions and it's just so much harder to do it by yourself than when you have someone there but also just enjoy it you know you're playing your best football when you're enjoying it and having a good time.